So here we are in the front yard, going to the back. Through our gate, we have this galvanized steel gate. And we use the um, leftover siding from the building extension to clad the, uh, the gate. In order to tie it in, we'll uh, paint these black. Uh, but we have to wait a year before we can paint them black because they're galvanized steel and so there's something that, you know, it's been treated with that has to wear off. Excuse the, uh, the barrel distortion, it's because I'm using a really wide angle lens. So here we are. This is our garage here. This is my lovely wife. Hello. So are you going to show us around, Eleanor? I'm going to show around. Are you going to, oh, are you no, going to lead the way? You, I'll lead the way. Okay, I'll lead the, the way. Color commentary. Okay, so I'll do the color commentary. This is a lilac tree that was here from the beginning. In fact, when Eleanor and I moved in, we didn't even know it was there. We smelled it at some point, and we're like, it smells like lilac, because this uh, part of the yard was completely overgrown, and there were, um, you know, there were those cherry trees growing wild. There were maples growing wild. There was a uh, What's the one that's being uh, killed by the uh, emerald the ash. ash? There was the ash tree uh, there. There was a hackberry. Anyway, this was a real forest. There was a, and here we are. This is the yard. There was a stump right here. There was some kind of stump from a really mature tree that had been cut down years ago. This big stump. Anyway, this little thing here, unfortunately, it's unfortunately placed, but this is to control the irrigation system, the sprinkler system that we've put in. This is a Japanese lilac that we've planted. Why don't you show like a little, uh... Oh, we've got a little patio here, uh, made out of pavers. Can you use the barbecue down? Give yeah, more so we'll, we'll show you that when we go up on the deck to show you how how, uh, how much more space we've got there. And this is the garage from the back. And that's the existing building there. Uh, the, the rear facade was red brick. It really didn't tie in at all with, with the extension. So we, we had it stained last week. So there's our deck we'll show you later. So here we are. So the shed is here. And if you'll recall, there were really mature cedars here that were about four feet thick and um, when we moved in they were like 25 feet high uh, and then they were really uh, suffering from when we had them when we had them trimmed um, they didn't they didn't do too well so anyway we decided to have them all removed and in their stead I I planted three mountain ash trees See, I understand that, uh, Eleanor, you had a mountain ash tree on what street in uh, Camrose? 27th Avenue 47. in Camrose? 47. 47, okay. So there we go. I didn't know that when I picked these. I just picked them because they were nice. But these are different from the one that you had because these are, um, they're bred to grow in a columnar, fastigiated columnar pattern. So they'll grow straight up. And by the nice tomato plant. Ah, yes. So we have space for a little vegetable garden. Do you have any ripe ones there? Yeah, they're about ready to go. I promised Beatrice that we would pick them when she gets out from her nap. Okay, so you've got a couple ripe ones there? Yeah. There are tomatoes and what else? These are pepper plants. Okay. They don't seem to be doing too well, but... No? Maybe they should be watered more. We'll see. We'll look, we'll look it up. We'll Google it. So, these are the um, mountain ashes. There are three. One, two, and three. And we have room for a nice little, little flower garden. Cheerful daisies there, echinaceas. We tried to pick perennials and perennials that attract butterflies. We hear about butterflies and how butterflies need places to land and to do whatever they do. There we go. This is our existing cherry tree. And without the cedars, it looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? Or it stands out more, so, yeah. so we appreciate it. And a little bird bath there. And our little spruce that I've called Bruce, Bruce the Spruce. And that one will grow, uh, I think, full height, just a little taller than the fence, maybe a little taller than that, but not too tall. And there were cedars here too. So this was after the landscaper had come in to put the sod that we decided to um, 
get rid of these cedars. So we laid this sod, Eleanor and I laid this sod ourselves. And as you see here, uh, there were workers who came to remove the cedars and there was a lot of traffic here. So um, the sod here took a bit of a beating, but uh, we're trying to nurse it back to, to health and we'll see how successful we are there. And there was a pear tree, which if you'll recall was, was diseased, unfortunately. Um, this little patch of sod is just there because I left it there, didn't get rid of it yet, but so we had it taken down. So the birds were a little surprised the day after, but uh, their feeders are still up, so they're gonna figure it out. And plus we planted this maple, what do they call it, autumn? Autumn blaze. Autumn blaze, so it's a hybrid maple. It's a mixture of uh, the, the, the mixed- so uh, Silver maple and Norwegian Silver maple, maple, no, silver maple and uh, red maple. Oh. And uh, so apparently it grows really fast and it's, uh, it's spectacular in the autumn, which is why they call it Autumn Blaze. Um, so there it is. And uh, anyway, this section here, we'll figure out what to do with it. Maybe have a little, little fountain feature, maybe, who knows, but we'll see. And there is our pool. We're gonna hit the pool this afternoon because um, it's really the first warm summer's day that we've got, that we've had so far. our deck so we no longer have the barbecue on the deck so we put the pool stuff where the barbecue was and that frees up some space here and there you have it that's how it all ties in together oh yeah oh yeah Eleanor's herbs we've got thyme rosemary chives and of course people voila as they say bye, bye.